Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and tonight this is the first time in history of this music channel that we're actually doing an album review. Uh, it's been two and a half years and this is the first time simply because I mostly do reaction videos, I'm focused on that, I'm focused on entertaining but uh, tonight I just wanted to talk about Taylor Swift rather than listen to her. I just want to focus because uh, on talking because I have too many things to say about this woman. If you stick with this channel for long enough, uh, you probably know that um, in this channel I was quite negative when it comes to Taylor Swift. A lot of bashing was happening around Taylor Swift's name and I'm not proud of that at all. And what I'm saying is I just simply didn't really like her music. That was the reason why negative critics was coming in, but I have nothing against her. Um, I was just uh, not happy with the direction she was going with the reputation because she was focusing on too much drama on this uh, like focusing on haters and things like that i just didn't really like the direction of the album and especially how it sounded like uh, if music sounded great you know there would be no problems but what was the most turn off is the music itself it just didn't used to be like this with me when it comes to taylor swift if we go back in time in 2014 Actually, I really enjoyed Taylor Swift's 1989 album. Those were pop bangers, you know, singles out of it, uh, the whole album uh, being pretty short. I mean, like, what was, it, what was it, like 14 tracks or something like that? 13, 13 tracks. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it for what it is, and I was really into Taylor Swift. I, I liked Taylor Swift. And, uh, and then Reputation happened as we talked about it. And then, now, this new direction, um, the new album Lover, and let me say this: I when the first single came out of from uh, Lover, you know, I, I reviewed it with my friend Sam, me featuring Brandon Uri. Um, we didn't like it. We again <laughs> bashed it. Oh, Taylor Swift, like when you will start write good songs again? Then you need to calm down. Came out. It was uh, much better. I kind of liked it. I wouldn't say it was like on repeat or anything like that, but um, I, I did like it and I added it to my playlist. The, the lyrics were kind of questionable, <laughs> but, but the song is pretty, it was pretty cool. And then what got me the most was actually The Archer and Lover. Those two singles got me wondering, Taylor Swift is actually coming back to her much better form, to the form I really enjoy. And as soon as I saw the cover of the album Lover, you know, the, the pink, bright, uh, colorful, great, um, this cover, I, I was, I felt happy. I honestly felt really optimistic about this album and I wanted to like it. Uh, now, I said wanted to like it, but actually that doesn't mean that I didn't like it like that because I actually did. I actually did like this album. I enjoyed it. I mean, not enjoyed it as like 10 out of 10 enjoyed it or even 8 out of 10 enjoyed it but i kind of liked this new direction and i definitely think this is much better album than reputation i think this is a, this is a, she's going back i'm looking at my phone sorry she's looking back to her uh, form and i just like to see this taylor swift like i i like her <laughs> um this persona i have nothing against her as i said uh, we all do mistakes, nobody is perfect, and back in 2017, this this person I w was not really likable for me, uh, just, I don't know, like, something about her, I just didn't really like her as a person, but, again, if I just sort of throw that out of the window, I just actually see with a better perspective here, Taylor Swift uh, is a great girl, she's a great songwriter, uh, yes, you know, not flawless sometimes with lyrics, um, but she she still is great. She's a top-notch artist, and for me, you know, a person who like never did any, like nearly like anything nearly great as Taylor Swift. Like to be here sitting uh, on my chair and like talking negative about her, it's kind of it's kind of weird. I I just feel bad about that i don't i don't want to do that this channel is more about positivity you know like uh, bringing the best uh, out of others and i just don't want to put that image on myself taylor swift is great and what makes me say that is 
my attitude towards her has changed like i definitely now understand much better through what she has to go through like every day like imagine you know being a celebrity fans crazy like stalkers they try to enter your house they track you down uninvited people just come like try to come in your house it's like already like and then you see on the internet some like negative comments every day when you see when you or you hear something negative about yourself like one negative thing and it's already creates self-doubt it already creates in your in your head negative thoughts it's just not pleasant to deal with but it's only one you like we as regular citizens uh, have to deal with or or you know varies of course well taylor Swift like sees this every day and i i get her you know and the reason i said nobody's perfect is she, she may be done some things that i i didn't really like like but i also did some things that I, that other people didn't like you know what i'm saying so like we just gotta forgive and move on and i'm glad that taylor didn't do like repetition two or anything like she i think she's also in a better place and that's what i appreciate now let's talk about album uh so lover is a great song the single lover is a great song i really love uh, the song uh wonderful romantic song that th when the video came out it makes perfect sense why the setup is on uh, like at winter time christmas because that's when you want to hear that song it, like makes perfect sense right now it's just like the timing is kind of wrong a little bit on august but this is a great song to like be cozy you know cold but cozy you know under the blanket and like this song is on this is great this is a great vibe or this song actually can serve a great purpose in uh, targets or walmarts uh because you know this kind of a song you hear let's say uh, around 10 p.m when you shop around and the song like on the background plays like this typical american type of songs <laughs> you know on the background just like this is like 10 p.m nobody's in around but you're still shopping when it comes to like me being man and listening to this song the man i kind of get a little bit uncomfortable but if i was a female I guess I would support this track a lot, the man, and it's like, say, fuck yes, yes Taylor, go Taylor, tell them, tell them the truth, speak the truth, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to this uh, to this male, pigs and animals, let us have equal ways, you know, uh, so it depends on the perspectives, oh no, I already talked too much again, fine, let's, let's just go over the tracks I liked, I have this list uh, of tracks I liked, I labeled as cool tracks, tracks that I loved, and passable tracks, just okay tracks. There, w there wasn't a single bad song, which was really good about it. Uh, this album is really consistent. I was shocked when I heard this first song, by the way, first song, I forgot that you existed. It was like hearing Lover, The Man, uh, and The Archer before. I was not expecting songs like I forgot that you existed, or uh, songs like Death by a Thousand Cuts or songs like afterglow or it's nice to have a friend i did not expect this kind of songs at all um so this album surprised me with how versatile it is in sounds and in lyrics there were a lot of lyrics i actually appreciate versatile yet consistent what i mean by that is yes songs maybe like that are kind of different from each other but they still have the similar sound to it just like similar uh, vibe that is happening like this uh, and this cover album cover lover just makes a lot of sense it just packaged really well cool tracks i kind of liked i forgot that you existed uh the man i think he knows death by a thousand cuts false god i, I liked oh i liked paper rings sorry about that i forgot about that uh and you need to calm down i can i kind of liked it too uh passable tracks were for me cruel summer Miss American and the Heartbreak Prince, Cornelia Street, London Boy, Me, and that's it. That's, those were the passable tracks. They were just okay tracks. Um, the tracks I really loved it though are Lover, The Archer, 
soon you will get better i think it was pretty cool country twist to that um and legends say um taylor swift used to be a country artist right i i never heard anything before 1989 so i don't know how it sounds like but if it sounds like uh, this track 12 must be a good material and um we have uh, afterglow oh yes afterglow that was that was that shit afterglow hits afterglow hits hard it really does it's a really good song and i really like the line when she said uh the love is like a boxing match without gloves oh yes you have to fight for your love oh yeah never give up on your love <laughs> and um and it's nice to have a friend i really love that track as well that was good that was really cool i, I forgot daylight daylight is just a um, okay track pretty uh, decent closure for this whole thing so overall i feel six out of ten on this album it's a pretty good album and i it's really refreshing and i like the fact that i don't to bash Taylor Swift anymore <laughs> and uh, I am excited for the future releases and I hope it all and only will get better after this and Lover pretty nice listen I was happy with it uh, there were like again so, some songs that really surprised me like Death by a Thousand Cuts like in instrumentals like the, I think there was the piano like like something like that was happening throughout the track i was like wow damn anyway guys not gonna hold you longer thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it appreciate your support i'll see you guys in the next ones don't forget to click the like button because it's important uh hit the subscribe button click that notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos from me and i'll see you guys in the next ones all right new videos are coming soon don't worry about that see you guys bye Thank you.